Uh, for the ones that have done Kaizen Camp with us, um, what is the expectation? We're working hard. We're not going to give up. What else? Push yourself. Yeah. We have to perform. At the end of the day, it's great. I love that we give effort and that we're trying hard and that you know we're doing all these things. But if you don't perform at the next level, you won't play. It's very simple and it's very relentless and it's very unforgiving. And when you want to play, not just in high school, when you want to play college, D1, D2, or D3, you want to play for a pro team, you want to play for your national team, they don't care how, try you, like, how hard you try. They don't care. All they care about is if you perform. And that's where it becomes really, really tough on your mind because you're trying to tell yourself, don't make a mistake, don't do this. What this training session is going to teach you is to have positive talk and to tell yourself, Okay, open up my hips. Okay, use the correct foot. I wanna get you in your, your mind to say these positive things versus the negative things. And also to set the expectation for the ones that have not been here is this is not Evolve Summer Camp. This is not futsal. This is not, I'm gonna bring you string cheese and like hold your hand the whole time, okay? And if you can't perform, you'll just sit out. That's the culture we have to create for this session so you can get better. Okay, and we're gonna teach the mentality. I don't think Ava knows anyone, right? Ava doesn't know one person here. You might know one or two. You might know one or two. You might know one or two. When you go into a culture of um, intense training or you go to college or you have your first pro tryout or your first international tryout, now, do I care if you try hard? I do, but they won't. Because at that level, it doesn't matter if you don't know her and she doesn't know you, you still have to perform together. Does that make sense? When I, when I went to the national team, my first training session ever, I crumbled. It was terrible for me. I cried probably every day for a year and a half being on the national team because um, I just wasn't where I needed to be mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I had a lot of work to do, a lot, okay? So this is an opportunity for you to step up, for you to step up, for you to step up, meet new people, and you have to connect immediately, okay? Because that's what's gonna happen in college. That's what's gonna happen when you make that next elite team or ECNL team or DA team. Why do you think I make you do 500 juggles before the session even starts? Get your mind ready. It's so when you show up, you're already ready for the warm up. Your mindset is already in the session before you even technically start. You need to understand that you have to completely push yourself way out of your comfort zone today. This is for you, okay? Christina, you get red. Leah, go yellow. Ava, go yellow, okay? Band around the ankles. The biggest thing is you have to control the band. Don't let the band control you. Hands are gonna be on the hips gonna be nice and high. My knees are not locked out. They're just slightly bent. So we've got 10, nice and easy, nice and slow. Go ahead on your own. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. stay behind the set of cones. I don't want you to go through. Around the front, back through, figure eight. If you're beating a defender, I don't want us up high doing the, the Irish jig, okay? I want us down low, moving the ball in between the cone as fast as we can. Play, low, come on. Keep coming back, across. Yes, it's good, you see that? So make it the best that you can. Ready, one more round with this. Move. All right, uh, Caitlin, go far. Ava, go far. Aaliyah, come to the middle. Remember, my body positioning is really important, right? I it, it should be the defender, me, and then the ball. I don't want to open up and and use use this foot to 
to, to trap it, right? Okay? So now, I'm gonna chuck away. I'm gonna come to, I'm gonna demand the ball from Asmita. We're gonna pretend that, in fact, we're actually gonna use a second person. Casey, come here. So we're gonna have two people at this pole. Casey's the defender. You're just gonna follow me, okay? Casey's gonna be the defender. I'm gonna chuck away. I'm gonna come to, Casey's gonna apply just her hand to my back so I can feel some pressure, okay? I'm gonna use the left foot, yep, pass it, to bump it right back to her because I feel the pressure. You're gonna take a touch and you're gonna play Caitlin. As soon as that happens, I'm checking off of the defender. Caitlin's gonna play me. I'm gonna play Caitlin. Caitlin's gonna play the goal. The person that's there, okay? Be careful because I have to be careful of the run. So don't just play it and, and take off. Play it, wait a second, and then make the run when I make the pass. Okay? So the person that's at the pole is just applying pressure to her back. So you're gonna go first on this side. All you're doing is just applying pressure to her back. Everyone's talking, same thing. Ready, play. Check away. Right, free, 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 free. Check away. Because as a defender, if I'm that defender, I'm gonna step right in front of her. So wait until Aliyah takes her a little bit and then comes back. Play, take her away. There you go. Play, right foot. Bump on the other. Good, good. Left foot. Good, play. Excellent. Touch, touch. So you gotta, so this person has to think about it too, right? If I'm the defender, and Christina doesn't check, play that ball, play it. I'm gonna do this immediately. If Christina takes me away, I'm moving in this direction. She's got a split second to check back and get the pass off. That was so much better. Bump, get out, get out. Good. Oh, that was good. That was excellent. She took her so far this way that Casey lost sight of the ball for a half a second. And the minute when Casey turned back, she was checking in so deep that she had been lost. It's really good. As the defender, if, if, if I'm playing defense and I can see my player and the ball, I'm in a good position. The minute this happens, I get in trouble because I have to then split my attention between the ball and my person. So everyone should try to lose the defender and check back too, every time. Ready, play. Lose her, lose her. Good, good, bump.